Hey everyone, in this video I am going to give you a quick overview of using GitLab for issue tracking and time tracking. So uh, for right now I'm in the group for CS4540 Spring 2020 and I've already created a project for myself here, CS4540 Spring 2020 demo project. I'm going to go ahead right in there. You'll see this is an empty repo. I'm not worried about the code or contents because today I am focusing on issues. You'll see if we mouse over issues, we have multiple options in here. I'm going to go ahead and just click on issues. And the first thing you'll see is we have a few issues open already. These are not really well named issues, but they will show you exactly what's going on. So let's take a look at these just to, to see what an issue looks like. Uh, first of all, I have some open issues and I have some closed issues and I have all issues. You'll see if I go to all, it will list three issues. This <coughs> issue, number one, has been closed. Uh, you can see that it was assigned to me. I can look at just the closed ones. I can also look at just the open ones. For any of these issues, you go in. Each one will have a description. It will have a place where you left comments. And it will have some items over here regarding who's assigned, what epic or milestone it's part of, the time tracking, the due date, labels, weight, all of these types of things over here. You can always create a new issue by clicking the new issue button. Here you would put the issue title. This may be uh, a title. This may be some kind of task uh, or bug description. For instance, uh, fix the bug on form number two. I have no idea. Uh, it could be as a user, I can log in, right? The form of a user story. As a role, I can perform some action. You can add deeper comments down in the description, particularly if there are important things that we need to know about this issue. So we'll go ahead and give this a name. As a professor, I can teach this class. I'm not going to add anything in here, but you can see you can write this. It's rich text. You can add previews, all those kind of things. You can assign these. I'm going to assign it to myself. And you can also add these to milestones. You'll see that we have a few milestones in here already named Sprint 1, Sprint 2, and Sprint 3. For the CS4540, 5540 course, we will be using 12 sprints. Each sprint will be one week long. Do note that when you create user stories or issues, every issue must be assigned to at least one team member and be assigned to at least one milestone. You can use labels as you choose. Those will help you out if you start organizing via boards. And you can also add weight if you want to put in a difficulty. So for now, I have as a professor, I can teach this class. And oh, what a class it is. We're going to submit this issue. And you will see, here we go. Now, the one thing I did forget, I did not add it to a milestone. I'm going to add this to Sprint 3, um, just for fun here. And now you will see if I go to my list, I have multiple open issues. Uh, here is this user story right here. I can also go look at the milestones that I've created. You'll see I have Sprint 1, Sprint 2, and Sprint 3. Since I added that user story to Sprint 3, I'm going to go ahead and check that out. You'll see that in Sprint 3, I have one ongoing issue, which means it's opened and assigned, uh, and it's the issue I just created. If I close that issue, it will move into the completed column. Or if I have no one assigned to it, right? so I will remove myself from this. Okay, it's now unassigned. Uh, if I go back to my milestones, I will go back to Sprint 3. You'll see it is an unstarted issue. So for right now, I'm going to go in. I am going to assign myself to this. And here we go. As you work on issues, you may need to write some comments. That's fantastic. You can do those anytime you want. Uh, add details, things you struggled with or what you're in the middle of. You will also need to do time tracking. Time tracking must be included on every issue. This is so I know how much time you're spending on this class and working on the parts of this project. To add time to the time tracking, uh, we are going to use this hash notation, slash spend. You just put it in the comment box here, and you'll see it gives you some options. You can add time. You can subtract time. You can even set it on a specific date. So if I say slash spend one hour, and I hit comment, um, you'll see I spent one hour. I can also say slash spend minus 30 minutes. subtracted 30 minutes. Okay, I'm down to 30 minutes time tracking. 
This way we can see how much time we're tracking, doing what we need to do, and all those kind of things. Once you finish an issue, you must close the issue. You can see once I close that issue, I'll go into Milestones, Sprint 3. As a professor, issue closed, congratulations. Please note that in this class, we will have 12 sprints. One of the first things you should probably do is come in here and create all your milestones. You'll see to create a new milestone is very easy. This would be sprint four, the next one. You can set the start and end dates if you like. I'm not gonna do that right now. Uh, there's my new milestone, sprint four. You will have 12 of these. There will be 12 sprints. I expect to see all 12 sprints as milestones. You do not need to fill all 12 sprints with issues or user stories right away. You can fill each issue um, or each sprint with user stories or tasks as we go. That is fine as well. You also find that you can go to boards and you can organize these. So if you start adding labels to your different user stories, you will actually get multiple columns here. So you'll see, I can say I can add a label. Um, we'll call this the testing label, uh, create project label, testing. We'll make it blue. We'll say create. That's fantastic. Okay. None of these guys have anything. So if I come in here, change the label to testing. That's good. Okay. Well, I can also edit the board. This is my development board. Labels, any labels. Okay. I can show all labels. I'll be able to filter through these. You can do all kinds of nice little things here. Okay. You can always look at the list. You can always filter things out. But this is how I expect you to manage issues during development. You must have issues or user stories listed. They must belong to milestones. There must be one milestone for each sprint. And every issue or user story must be assigned at least one or more team members. And you must track your time on each issue or user story.